Craig, and thank you for all your work uh, with the foundation and certainly focusing on this evening of, uh, evening's events. Uh, Speaker Wright, uh, Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst, uh, uh, former Secretary Panetta, uh, dear friend, and to all those that we uh, honor tonight. It is a great privilege to be here. It wasn't, uh, I guess, maybe six weeks ago, well, actually, about five years ago, my wife and I, in December of 04, had the great privilege. We were living in Italy at the time. I was stationed there as a senior uh, Navy officer, and we had the great privilege of going up to um, celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Battle of Bulge. And there were 100 vets that came that day, and it was a three-day, so at least we could only stay three days. I think they were there for a week. And we met so many very, very special people who gave so much and made such a difference at a critical time. And then, as recently as uh, about a month ago, uh, maybe six weeks ago, Deborah and I were at Normandy uh, and uh, reminded again of the sacrifice of uh, those times. Uh, two weeks ago, and many of the vets here tonight are from Hawaii. We were in Hawaii and actually made our way out to Japan and uh, to visit with uh, one of our strongest allies. And then tonight, to, and some of you heard me speak earlier, tonight to be able to come here, and we've had, uh, we've had a focus on this event for, as, soon as, I, as soon as we knew about it, as soon as I could accept and come. Um, and, uh, and that you represent such a special group of that very special generation. And the, the, the courage, the valor, the heroism, uh, and uh, the, the, the dedication, the values that we hold so dear as a country. And then to do it in what uh, was clearly one of our dark, darkest hours, and to what the speaker said, that, that uh, in a time of obvious fear, uh, where we were reacting in certainly two directions as a country. And the only reason I talk about those other things, having been to Japan recently and to Normandy and to come here tonight, uh, and, and what this evening celebrates, uh, look at what is possible as a country. Look at what has changed in that 65 years, and it's been what has been so great about our country from its inception. So uh, we, uh, and I have an opportunity this evening to say a few words, but those words won't really capture your service uh, and what you meant. I said earlier and would only repeat that those of us who serve today are in so many ways aware of your sacrifice and we do stand on your shoulders because you made such a difference. And I just want to reassure you that this generation of young people who serve are, uh, are uh, the most exceptional people I've ever met in my life. And they care about their country, they care about their their brothers and sisters in arms, uh, and they care about serving. And many of them, as you know, are in harm's way as we speak this evening, defending the rights we have that allow us to have an event like this. And there are those as we speak that, that are in a position and, and could well be giving their lives at, as we stand here. So it's a reminder of what a great country we are. And it takes all of us, not a few of us, uh, and and tonight certainly represents that. So again, it's great to be with you. I look forward to the rest of the evening. Thanks for all of you who made this possible in terms of the event, but really thanks to the honorees who are the ones that really made this possible by being who you are, who you, and, and what you did. Thank you very much.